Hi, beautiful. Touching up your double process, platinum blonde, bleached hair is difficult. As a hairstylist even, you need years of experience to really get your retouches perfect. And people doing a double process root touch up on their own head at home with zero experience is horrifying. Today, we're watching people do just that. I'm very doubtful that people can actually do this themselves because even me, I have done my own retouches many times and it is not easy. You can't see the back of your head. And if you overlap the hair, your hair will fall off. Sometimes I change my look so fast that when I see myself in these videos, I literally don't know who it is. I need to slow the fuck down. I can't just stick with one fucking look for like a week. God. Getting that red out of my hair was like a process. I do have blisters on my head. Whatever it takes though to get blonde, baby, I can do it. I will do it and I will always do it. Up first, we have a video from Hannah Forcier. Hannah, it's been a while since the um, relaxer melting your hair. I hope we uh, aren't gonna make a similar mistake today and melt our hair with bleach this time. But then again, maybe you will. These roots, they can't take it anymore. We got our bleach, we got a bowl, we got gloves, aluminum foil. Your hair is so long, first of all, and your roots are so, so dark. You are going to have a time bleaching this. And if you overlap your hair, it will break off. I can't stress that enough, you guys. Overlapping on a double process is a recipe for total disaster. So hopefully she doesn't do that. And why, hold on, why are we whipping out the aluminum foil for this? Basically, I'm gonna go for a highlighted look so that my roots can continue growing out and it won't look as choppy. Oh, no. If there's one thing more difficult than doing a double process retouching yourself. It's bringing yourself from a double process back to highlighted so that your hair grows out nicely, if that makes sense. It takes a lot of talent and it takes low lighting and high lighting and all kinds of glazes and toners and things that make it all come together perfectly. It is such an art form to make it look great. I just don't think you have it in ya. I'm sorry. We're gonna take our powder. Okay, three scoops in here, in the bowl. <laughs> that is the biggest bowl for lightener I've ever ever seen. I love it. And that means we need six of these. I'm using a 30 volume today. Okay, if you're using foils, you definitely don't need 30 volume. 30 volume can be very extreme with foils and it can really damage the hair. I don't know. 20 volume might have been better, but it's hard to see things through the screen and what's going on and have, uh, yeah. Awesome. And I'm gonna use a comb. I'm going to mix it all together. What? A comb? Go grab like a spoon or something. I'd rather you use a spoon. We're gonna start at the bottom and then we're gonna grow the top. I don't know how I'll be able to see the back of my head. See, this is the hard part. Seeing the back of your damn head. You gotta use mirrors, but then everything's reversed and it's really confusing. It gets messy and complicated and it's just really all around difficult. But I'm glad she's starting at the bottom of her hair and working her way up. That way her hair doesn't go into the lightener accidentally when she works from the top down. It's way more messy working from the top down and work from the bottom up. This is what we're working with first. I'm gonna put aluminum underneath. I am so interested to see what she's about to do and how this technique is gonna work. I'm going to weave through my hair and then I'm going to put bleach on parts of it. This isn't gonna work, like literally at all. For me, I would probably do a very heavy full foil on her. Weave out that hair, get it in there. In between those foils, I would low light, okay? Because we need to add dimension back to her hair to make it look like it's a more natural looking color growing out of her scalp rather than a dull process with a harsh line. But otherwise, if you don't do all that, you're gonna end up with like still a hard line because all her hair is right now colored, completely solid. So to break that up, you're gonna need to do a lot more than just weave some foils in there. It's not gonna break up that line. We are going to go just like we're crocheting. Oh God. <laughs> We have a kind of section. <laughs> Hannah, no. Don't tell me this is this is the technique. We are taking a huge horizontal line and just weaving through it in chunks. It's not gonna look right. And you're gonna overlap. And you're gonna get banding of white where you overlapped and that more yellowy blonde you have. It's just gonna be a f disaster. Got some bleach on my hand and I'm just gonna try to get as much as the of the brown as I can get. <gasps> I don't know. So this is the part that I pulled out and I'm gonna wrap the aluminum. Yeah, I think that's good. I am mortified. And now I'm gonna add another layer of aluminum right there. Separate this. My hair literally fell out. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Why are you doing this? The sections are like this. They need to be like this. Why? 
I can't even believe she's still going forward with this. Like, this is one of the worst applications I've ever seen of lightener. Like, it doesn't even make a little bit of sense. I'm sorry, Hannah. I'm not being very nice today, but like, I just, I can't even understand what was going through your head. You're gonna get like spots everywhere. It's just gonna be crazy. Oh my god, it's like I weave, nothing changes. You gotta pull all the hair up that you wanna weave. In this case, I would recommend a small one. And then, when you pull all that hair section up, you then weave through that section. Not while it's laying down on your head, okay? You wanna take every other piece to do a weave. Honestly, I am trying my best. I know it doesn't look like it, but I really am trying my best. Babe, <laughs> babe, let's do better. Let's make our best better. I don't know if I have like much more to add to this. I am seriously in complete and utter shock because I am just like waiting for this disaster to unravel when she rinses this off. I don't know how she's even gonna live with this. I'm so scared. We just weaved our way through highlighters on the roots. I feel good about this. Anything is better than it being a line that is brown to blonde. Literally anything is better. Everything is not better. It's not. <laughs> I can't see. How does that look? It's so bad. And no. We have the roots that are blonde here, and then it goes brown, and then it goes blonde again. <sighs> it's not even my hair, and I hate this so much. Uh. Where is the face framing? We got like cheetah print all around your face. We want that part blonde. So, uh, obviously we got some good orange tones going on. We got a little calico action yeah. going on there. We got some orange to some brown to some blonde. Oh my God. This is bad. Look at her root. It literally has a blonde stripe, black, blonde. Oh my God. What the fuck are we putting on our hair now? L'Oreal Paris says I only have two minutes to leave this in my hair, so I'm gonna wash it out now. Oh my god, no. Not the purple shampoo. Purple shampoo doesn't fix all of our problems. I wish it did. It doesn't though, and I'm really upset about it. The fact that it doesn't, but purple shampoo can only do so many things and it's really good for what it's good for. But like, you can't expect everything from it. It can't carry the world of hair color on its back anymore. Give it a damn break. I know I said that it couldn't get any worse. This is what we're going with right now. I mean, I don't know what the back looks like, but... I know other than seeing a professional, the best thing I could do is to re-bleach and just do it all but I am honestly so terrified of my hair falling out again. If you're not gonna go to a professional, I would just recommend bleaching the front pieces of your hair, like a money piece moment, because that'll make it look like your hair has been done. It'll make it look more like a look without you doing really much of anything uh, and without doing your entire head again. You can also kind of smudge that line with a toner, the line between your black hair and your blonde hair, but that's also kind of a risky thing if you don't know how to formulate a toner correctly. And I don't know if I want you to get into all that, making your whole head a little bit darker just like a shade darker will help that line be more diffused and then do some money pieces it'll look great don't ever do that again though up next we have a video by mona lisa today i am going to be refreshing my hair dye. oh god another really tricky situation i'm going for the color that my hair already is which is really dark and on camera it even looks light herb okay well luckily she's not trying to make it really blonde she's just trying to make it kind of like this orange color orange yellowy thing okay so she is going right in there she's starting from the bottom and working her way up i have to say as she works through the hair these sections are gigantic they need to be way way thinner why is this section huge how are we getting through all that hair? What? Wait a damn second. Hold a damn minute. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Also, I see overlapping going on. My worst fear today. I don't want to see the overlapping going on. Shit. Few things. Put more lightener on the hair. We want it to be like coated in white stuff. You know, we want to take thinner sections. We want to work on the hair, one side of the back at once, and then the other side at the other time. <laughs> Ugh, I hate how I can't say words sometimes. My brain is just too powerful. It works too fast. My mouth doesn't move as fast. It's a lot. This is what four quadrants looks like. Start like this, work from the bottom, take really thin slices and paint those roots. Okay. Get in there, put a lot of lightener on there and you'll be perfectly good. Maybe just don't overlap either. I don't know. She has an interesting technique going on right now. She's kind of like painting the top and then sectioning out underneath as she goes up. I don't know, man. And a lot of it is already processed. 
so I'm getting nervous at this point and like really really wanting this part to hurry up and heat up and clearly with how much anxiety I'm having about it it's gonna heat up quickly for sure if you really want this to process evenly and perfectly and great you should work in four quadrants remember which ones you did first second third fourth and then rinse it out so that every section is processed for the exact same amount of time that way you don't end up with half your head at a great lightness and then half of your head orange because things have to process the same amount of time okay so this is what i'm looking like <laughs> Um, what the fuck? I think I'm gonna give my hair a breather. What are those stripes of brown I see going through your hair? Whoa, okay, whoa, um. Oh, some parts are really blonde, some parts have stripes, some parts we missed, god damn. Whoa, whoa, um. Oh, I see breakage, I see breakage. I'm gonna start with the hair dye and sort of do it in a layered way so that if I have to, it could give a, an ombre look if I feel like this isn't enough. So I guess we're not gonna try to perfect anything. We're just gonna straight up go in with the toner and try to make it all work. Try to blend it all in and make it pretend no, nothing ever happened. What I would recommend you to do, except this is gonna be very hard to do yourself, but I would go in to all those brown spots and get them nice and even. Take tiny little sections, boom, boom, boom. Touch all the spots with some lightener, some 20 volume and lightener. Go in in your sections, rinse it off at the same time. You just need to perfect this or else you're gonna always have these lines all over your damn head and you don't want that, it's not cute. Okay, so this is all I God, it's a lot. And I believe she's going in with permanent color on top of her already bleach damaged hair. Oh, f ah. <gasps> the color look like for the most part is decent. Okay, well that's where the video ends. It actually got worse. I'm so sorry this happened to you. That was bad. Wow, we are seeing ultimate fails today. It's been a while since there, since people like really, really mess up their hair, but these people are really messing up their hair today. The banding, the blonde and the orange and the, everything was just really bad. Next time you need to be way more precise with your sections. I can't stress that enough. And I hope your hair is better now. Up next we have a video by KMMA at home. Let's see if she can finally get it right. So today what I plan to do is touch up my roots. You can see that they've grown out a little bit. Where? What roots? I literally don't see any roots. I mean maybe like an actual centimeter or less, but not enough to do a touch up, retouch. Thing. I do want to keep the darker root. I really like the way it looks. I almost, you know, wouldn't be ready to touch up the roots yet, but because I'm new to doing this and I've heard that if you let the roots grow out too much, you're going to get that orange banding. But you have highlights. You don't have a dull process, so you're not going to get banding even if you grow your hair out very long and then do the highlights. Like, you're not going to get banding with the foil highlights. You are going to get banding if you had a dull process and you let it go for too long but you don't. I am using the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me line. I have seven 20, 30 developers, some spray bottles. I have foil. Um, I have my bleach, a whisk. Listen, she is stocked up on every single tool she could possibly need. I'm impressed. But can she pull off the retouch on her non-dull processed hair that has highlights, but I don't know. like a mohawk section and then I have the two on the sides of my head. Is that like an eight quadrant sectioning moment going on? Quadrant is four. I started in the perimeter of each section, being sure to saturate it while trying my best to avoid overlapping the lightener onto previously lightened areas. When I finished the perimeter, I began to slice through each section, adding a little bit to the top and bottom and just kind of thoroughly making sure that I was using enough bleach. The technique 
Meek is for sure there. Like, this is very good what she's doing. However, she's not a double process. So I don't know why she's doing a double process when she has highlights. I just don't get it. Cause she's gonna end up with beautifully done roots and then like spots of brown in her midsections. I don't, would somebody make it make sense? When I did reach the front of my head, I decided to use foils because I was still using just seven volume and I needed it to go a little bit quicker. I needed some heat to kind of help move the bleach along a little bit. Where did the foils come in? How did the foils get there? We're now painting lightener through the whole head. Oh, I'm so lost. So I decided to stop when I finished the sides and was going to just do the top section in a different process. So that way I could get this stuff off my hair. Before I did that, I did a super weak bleach bath. As you can see here, I added water shampoo to 7 Vol that's been sitting for a while. I think she's trying to make herself back to Dull Process Platinum from the highlights. I think that's what's going on. Everything looks pretty lightened except for the top, which is the part I didn't touch. Yeah. So I was happy with the sectioning I did today. Remember, I didn't touch any of this top. Oh, what? So what? why are we leaving the top like that? I've never seen something like this before. Very interesting. I did do the sides, which will need definitely some touch up. Oh, the missing spots that get everybody every time. There's so many missing spots. Her hairline has the dark spots. The, the back has the dark spots. Sh so what I began with first was adding bleach to any areas that needed to be touched up, including areas that were really dark so that could start to process. And then after I finished that, I had this brilliant idea that I was going to mohawk highlight the top of my head, thinking it would add sort of some dimension and lightness to the root. Girl, what in the hell? Just bleach the whole thing. Stop with the artsiness. Just bleach the whole thing. Just go for it at this point. Look at the top. It was horrifying when I came out, but there are some highlights, so those worked. I decide to bust out the bleach again, go over any spot that is still dark. Yes! Yes! Good idea. And in an attempt to make it look better, I went in with a root shadow. Also a great idea. This might be getting better. A toner for the ends to get rid of the yellow, and it doesn't even matter what I used because, spoiler alert, I ended up redoing it. Um, but here's what it looked like. It looked really nice. It wasn't bad at all compared to the train wreck that had happened. This looks good! She somehow did it. But look at what it looked like in the morning. Look at that bright orange section. Oh no, we gotta fix the bright orange now. It's just like, do something, fix it. Do something, fix it. <laughs> okay, so she's toning it again. She's trying to get rid of that orange part. So she has to go a little bit darker, like level seven on the root, which is just so confusing to me because she's just gonna end up with the same hair she had before. Let's see. Here is the finished product. I definitely think it's a lot better. It's a little bit dark. It'll be nicer when the tone kind of fades. It's kind of like double toned right now. I'm pretty happy with it though. What the hell? You ended up with more roots than what you started with. I thought the point was to get rid of the roots, not add more. Your hair looks good. I'm just very confused in that. What happened that entire time? I'm very confused. <laughs> but you ended up with something very workable and cute. So I guess good job. Yeah. So don't do that. Don't do what they did. All right, that's all I got to say today. If you want to check out my hair care and my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodelhair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.